The inspiration for Mona's fun and flirty look in natural and matte rosy tones were the effortless and romantic floral lighter-than-air dresses that breeze down the spring runways. Best of all, you can achieve it in just a few simple steps. First off, our makeup artist prepped Mona's face with Bare Minerals Primetime Oil Control Foundation Primer. It immediately leaves your skin looking smooth while minimizing pores and fine lines. Amazing Cosmetics Concealer is sheer and natural, perfect to cover the slight discoloration under Mona's eyes and to hide any facial blemishes. It's important to use just a few dots of concealer and gently pat to blend. For foundation, use a powder like Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. Work it into the skin using long, round motions with the brush across your face. Finish with Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Mineral Veil is light. It allows your skin to breathe, prevents any excess shine, and gives a translucent, natural finish. Now it's time for blush. Pure Minerals Pure Rocks, a soft pink powder, creates those perfect rosy undertones, an important trend this spring. Sweep your brush around the rocks in the box, tap off the excess, and then apply the blush to the top of your cheeks. Notice how our makeup artist uses a full round brush to create a more natural look. Pure Rox has a slight shimmer, so only use it sparingly. You don't want to be too shiny. You just want that perfect rosy blush on the apples of your cheeks. To get Mona's soft eye, go right into the lashes with a brown pencil. Don't worry how neat it looks, you'll blend it later. Next, apply a white pencil to the inside of the eye, a trick that makes the eye appear wider. Both pencils are from Studio Gear. On to eyeshadow. The Too Faced Natural Eye Kit gives you several neutral browns and beiges to work with. Since you're going for a soft, natural look, first apply Sexpresso, the deep brown, over your eyeliner to soften the line. Lightly blend with your finger after application. Lighten the middle of the eyelid with Heaven, the ivory shade. It will provide a 3D effect and some definition. Using a wide eyeshadow brush, sweep Silk Teddy, a peach champagne shimmer that complements your cheek color, across the lid for some sparkle and warmth, continuing to blend with your brush. The best way to apply Lorac Lots of Lash Mascara is in a small back and forth motion right down at the root. Mascara in brown, not black, gives the desired softer, more natural look to the eye. Lots of Lash is a fiber mascara. Fibers enhance the fullness of Mona's lashes. A well-groomed brow is key. Blend Anastasia's Brow Powder Duo to achieve just the right shade to match your natural eyebrow, not your hair color. The current trend is for thicker, more natural eyebrows, so if you have thin eyebrows, fill them out a little bit. Lips are the finishing touch. For this particular look, you want a little shimmer, not a lot of shine, so go with Athena, a soft pink color from Napoleon Purtis. It's an essential color this season and easy to apply, foolproof. Use a lip brush for more even coverage. The idea here is that the face should look as natural as possible. Although Mona's look is perfect for daytime, our makeup artist suggests that by intensifying the dark brown sexpresso in the crease and outer corner of your eye, you can easily move the look into evening. Ulta, the store on everyone's lips, and brows, and eyes, and face. <laughs>